Hello, my name is Chip Thompson from Ask Crayon Gaming and welcome to a brand new series. Uh, this is Championship Manager 0102. Um, as you may have, uh, be aware, this is not really a new game, uh, but it's one that I played to death when I was a kid. Um, so I thought I'd do something for the channel, considering it's actually free to download now. And I'm going to start the game with my beloved West Ham United. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, players in here you may recognise. I may have signed Paul Gascoigne. Um, we were kind of limited a bit in centre midfield, and he was on a free, and, I mean, his stats are pretty atrocious, so I don't actually know if he's going to make much of an impact on the team. Uh, we also brought in uh, two new strikers, so we got um, uh, Mbama on a free, um, just because the Canio was injured for a while, and we were a bit limited up front. Uh, stats are okay, 30 years old, uh, I mean, not great, but, I mean, as cover, you know, as a body in the team, it would be something who could do a job. Um, his teamwork and work rate are atrocious, absolutely atrocious. Uh, he spent a lot of time in Italy and France. I mean, he's a backup, let's put it that way, he's a backup. And then finally, we brought in on loan from Aston Villa, Darius Vassell, only 21. Um, was happy to snap him up, actually, as soon as I saw him on loan. As ever, you know, pace, acceleration, that's what we want, that's what we want. You know, someone come off the bench uh, in the last 10 minutes and hopefully do something for us. Obviously, we've got a couple of injuries. We've got De Canio, our main man, the legend that is Paolo De Canio. He's out for three months with a broken foot. Uh, Don Hutchinson is a player also out for three months. Someone I really liked as a kid, really liked him. You know, scored a lot of goals from midfield. Um, he's out for three months as well. So, again, why we need some cover in the centre of midfield. Uh, we've got Joe Cole, uh, just 19 years old. Uh, had lots of bids for him already. Hell no, am I going to let him go? There's absolutely no way until he begs me for a transfer, which will probably happen in about two months. Um, but loads of potential. You can see the teams that are after him already. Um, very worrying. We're going to try and keep him. Uh, it's not a great team. Um, we're going to try and keep him happy. Uh, and he's only valued at 4.8 million. Um, so I think I'm going to whack that up a bit. There we go. What can we do? Yeah, 20 million. And uh, pff, I want like 80 for him. But he's not, he's not going anywhere. Uh, and that's pretty much for our team. This is kind of the start 11 that I'm going to go with to begin with. Uh, Christian Daly in the midfield, he can do a job there, like I say, we're lacking there a little bit. Uh, Defoe and Canute up front should hopefully get us goals. Uh, another legend from West Ham, Thomas Repka, playing centre-back with Ian Pearce. Uh, Lamban at left-back is someone I don't actually remember. I don't, I have no idea who that is. I mean, yeah, apparently he's on loan with us, so he looks pretty good. So we're going to stick him at left-back with Winterburn to come in as backup. And there you can see we've got Vassell and Babomang on the bench. Um, yeah, this is going to be our starting lineup for the first game. Uh, in terms of the layout, this seems pretty standard, I think. Uh, we're going to go to attacking, which is kind of ambitious for the level that we're actually at. But yeah, we'll see how we get on. Uh, here's the early parts of fixtures. So our first game of the season, we've only played one friendly. And we're going to start the season away to Birmingham before going home to Man City and away to Chelsea and home to Liverpool, which uh, nowadays would be a really tough start. But... Man City, I don't think they're all that in this game, so we might have a chance at home. So first game of the season, we're away to Birmingham, and let's get into it. Here we go. Now I've set the uh, commentary... Oh, he's taking the lead! What a start, Canute after the second minute. Oh, hang on. What? <laughs> well, that was looking like the best start ever. Uh, Canute's just scored, and then David James has got himself sent off. In the fourth minute. Oh, goalkeeper. We conceded a penalty, and David James is off. This... God damn it. Okay, so we've got to think about what we're going to do here. Uh, I'm going to... i got to keep the fight up front. I'll keep him up by himself. But can he stay on the left? Cole can go to centre mid. Yeah, and we'll bring Van der Gaal on for Monka. Uh, or Daly. Uh, no, we'll, we'll go Monka. We'll go back to Monka. We'll do that again. Okay, there we go. So... Van der Gaal for Monka. There we go. Down to 10 men. 1 0 up. Let's see how we get on. We'll just drop that back down to normal. Okay, there we go. Um, so, yeah, the commentary speed is set to fast. Uh, I guess we don't want to see. Oh, he's missed a penalty! He's just missed a penalty! Fantastic. We're still 1 0 up. Right, <laughs> let's say this game. Yeah, the commentary's on fast because I figure a big wall of text for however long it will take to do a match probably is not going to be very interesting. Uh, and then we can get through the season pretty quick as well. We can kind of see what's happening. Pretty even so far, I'd say. Really had a call, free kick. No, nope, nothing for us there. Come on, get to this. If we just get to half time, one new up, that'll be great. Come on. Oof. 
Oh, my Miguel. He's doing well. He's doing well. Like, Come on. Just to half time. Yes. Okay, we made it to half time. We're 1 0 up. Down to 10 men. Fourth minute goalkeeper sent off. David James, congratulations. And yeah, Birmingham are all over us. Uh, eight shots, four on target. Just three for us and two on target. But crucially, we are 1 0 up. Okay, second half. We're going to survive the whole 45 with 10 men. Let's. Can we do this? So it's going to be all Birmingham. All right, we got a chance here. Oh, oh unlucky to foil it like there. They've lost John, he missed a penalty, now he's been injured, and... Oh, we're going to make any changes. Remember so on. Oh, let me show what we can do. I tell you, what, we'll put Laban on the left mid, because he can play there, just to make it a bit more defensive. Can you take for Winterburn? And it seems okay for now, we'll just go with that, we'll go with that. A bit more defensive, last 20 minutes or so. Uh, okay, 12 minutes to go, defense not playing very well, let's put Vassal up there. It's, it's, it's written in the stars, right? And Aston Villa man to score against Birmingham, it's got to happen. Come on, come on. So close, so close. Does that work? Oh no, come on. Oh, but not last minute. Yes, we've done it. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that drama on the first day of the season. Down to 10 men after four minutes when David James gets sent off and we still managed to win 1-0. They missed the penalty and I reckon their confidence has just gone from there. We're going to match that. So they only had one shot in the second half, whereas we had three. So we really tightened it up in the second half. Good work, lads. Uh, man of the match, Van der Gaal, what a hero, coming off the bench, he's about 38 years old in this game, and he's the one the man of the match, kept us in the game, got us three points. And assist there as well, yep, all good, happy with that, happy with three points, especially down to ten men, and we start the season in eighth place. And just confirmation that David James was banned for three matches, can we appeal this? Yeah, why not, let's give it a go, who knows. Uh, yep, the board of directors are happy, I am happy, good start to the season. Ooh, this is something I've never ever seen in a football manager or championship manager game. The FA have reduced David James's ban by one game. We had valid grounds for our appeal. I don't know how we brought the bastard down and conceded a penalty. But yeah, I'll take it. Cool. Alright, just a two game ban for David James then. And a bit of injury news. John McCurr is going to be out for 10 days. The strained neck. Uh, we're lacking a bit in that centre midfield area. Is Paul Gascoigne going to get a debut? I don't want to give him a debut. Um, Alright, League Cup draw, we're just going to do draw teams, and we got uh, Luton away. Ah, oh, that sounds like uh, the extremely potential West Ham loss there, because that's what we do, we lose the lower league teams. Uh, Luton Town, Division 2, so the equivalent of League 1 now. Oh god, <laughs> we're totally going to lose that, aren't we? Yeah, Luton, cool. Uh, but more importantly, we've got uh, Premier League action to get on with. We've got home to Man City. Now, Man City are not the rich bastards that they are nowadays. So, we get a chance. Okay, so James is suspended. So, Van der Gaal, man of the match last time. We'll stick him in. Stephen Bywater on the bench. Uh, Marker's injured. Is Carrick... Oh, Carrick's fit. Yeah, he's going straight back into the team then. Straight back into that centre midfield. He's going to be an important player for us. And then, yeah, still lacking. Pretty sure... Uh, keep Daly in there. Uh, not a lot of options at this stage, really. We did win the last game, so I think we're going to keep the team the same for this home game against Man City. All right, kick off then. First game of the season at Upton Park, the place where I spent many a fun day, where we, you know, got beaten like three 0 by Bolton once, got beaten four 0 by Sheffield Wednesday once. You know, all those great times. Uh, no goals so far. No red cards either, so no goalkeeper being sent off. I'll take that. Let's see if we can actually win with eleven men. Pretty even so far. Ooh, close there. We've got kick for us. Looks like Man City have got Berkovic, former West Ham player as well. Nicholas Anelka, he's going to be a threat. It's 10 to 0. And there is Anelka, speaking of a threat. City go 1 0 up. Five minutes before half time. Can we equalise just for the break? Oh, can they get another? Okay, so we're 1 0 down at half time. At home. Nicholas Anelka, the goal scorer. But we can get back into this. Come on, guys. We're at home. Let's do this. Just look at the stats then for half time. Pretty even game. Eight shots for us, four on target. Seven for them, four on target. They've got the goal crucially. But it's even. We can get back into the second half. Let's go. No changes so far. Come on, Gordon into the box. Gordon in. Oh, was that a penalty appeal? Right, 60 minutes. Man City going close again. Still very even this game. Running out of time here. Can we make any changes? Everyone's playing okay. Uh, well, there's not a lot we can do to change this game round, really. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, 
10 minutes, 12 minutes ago. I think we're going to have to make a change. Maybe take Daly off. Yeah, we'll put Cole in the middle, make him make some run forwards. And we'll bring on... Titty Camera. Not the best West Ham player of all time, but... Right, we're attacking and we'll bring... Yeah, for so long for Canute. A bit of pace up front. Get those tired legs. Come on, West Ham. Five minutes to go. We can get a point from this. Can we? Oh, no. No. No, we can't. Full time whistle, first time we're in the season, we were beaten 1 0 by Manchester City. See the stats, we dominated them in the second half. 14 shots on goal, 7 on target. I think they had one shot in the second half. We could not find that goal. Player stats, yeah, no one really standing out there. All sevens mostly across the board. So not bad, but not great either. And their goalkeeper, Peter Schmeichel, man of the match, obviously. So the league table after two games, we are still in 8th place with one win and one loss. Uh, one 1-0 one win, one 1-0 one loss. Terribly exciting days here at Upton Park. Man City are actually top actually after two games, so maybe we shouldn't write them off just yet. Oh, so one of the updates I got for this is that uh, the transfer windows are on as they would be nowadays, not like they were back in the day. We made a bid for Yu Sang Chul. He's a defender, a defensive midfielder and a striker. He could be good as a backup, but... I don't want to waste, we haven't got a lot of money, I don't want to waste our wages on him just for the sake of having numbers. He looks okay. What am I going to do? He's got okay stats, I don't know where he, number one position to be. Teamwork is not great. Technique's not great. Reflexes, alright. He's got okay stats across the board-ish. His pace isn't great. Look at that, he's not very quick. I don't think he's going to keep up with the uh, the Premier League. Okay, decision time. We're going to say... No, we don't have enough space on our team anyway. Okay, well that made the decision easier. Nope, we're not going to sign uh, you, Sancho. Sorry. In terms of the loan list, like I said, we haven't got a lot of money, but there's no one really there I really want to bring in. Uh, we haven't got the money to bring any of these players in either. Uh, so later, let's have a little cheeky loan bid, see if we can get him in. We need to take him until December, that's fine. We'll pay his wages, and yeah, like we're going to play Real Madrid anyway. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see if we get on there. Okay, so our next game is away to Chelsea. Uh, big game this, Chelsea, decent sides, even back then. Um, this is going to be a tough fixture. Uh, let's see, right, oh, are we going to make any changes? Carrick is a little bit tired. Uh, Cole, we've got to keep him, I'm thinking about moving him to the middle. Drop daily, maybe. Uh, we ain't got a lot of options. Maybe give Steve Lomas a run out. Um, it's always a fairly decent midfielder. We'll give him a start. We'll give him a start. Maybe him. Daily and Carrick might be a little bit too defensive, really. Give some options. Lomas will work hard at least. Uh, we'll keep Daily on the bench. Not. Oh, we're gonna go Gascoigne. Uh, his creativity is pretty good. So maybe he'd be good for, to bring on just to try and create something. Maybe. And apart from that, again, not a lot of changes we can make. Keep Cole on the left-hand side for now. Keep it tight in the middle. We are away to Chelsea. We're going to stay attacking, though. You know, I believe in this... Uh, do I? Maybe slightly. Yeah, I believe in the attacking formation. Let's go for it. Uh, right, away to Chelsea. Let's do this. Okay, it's 5, 10 minutes to Stamford Bridge. It's 5, 20 minutes. And here we go. First action of the game. Man, freaky to us. Again, not many chances, it seems like, in this first half. Solo, he's always going to be a danger as well. Chelsea coming at us. Oh, here we come. Oh, let's get tackled right at the end. Doesn't seem like there's too many chances again. game. Penalty appeal for us. Doesn't go anywhere. Let's get to half time. 0 0. I'll take that. That'd be good. Oh, can you take? Oh, that was close, apparently, according to the text. Uh, and there we go. I've got to stop calling these players the danger people because then they go and score against us. Stoppage time at the end of the first half. Zola puts Chelsea 1-0 up. Stats. Oh yeah, Chelsea all over us. We're not doing well. Maybe that attacking. Oh, but we need a goal now. So I'm going to keep it attacking for second half. We'll uh, see if we can play a bit better here. Mm, seems like it's for Chelsea again. Is this a chance for us? It looks like. Oof, close, close. Again, okay, another chance for us. Playing a bit better second half. Come on, we can get a point. I'll take a point here at Stamford Bridge. Ooh. Oh, we're doing good stats. A little bit better, a little bit better. We've had some chances still. Chelsea on top. Oh, mm, I'm going to make some changes. Yeah, Lemerson playing well. All right, Paul Gascoigne, you're on. Let's do this. Vassell on as well. Can we change anything else? Can we have some change? 
Craig's not having a great game. But we'll keep it at that. We'll keep it at that. Paul Gascoigne's on. He's definitely going to score for us. There we go. Gascoigne in the build up here. Nothing. Nothing kick. Nope. Nope. Come on. 15 minutes, lads. Come on. Uh, Carrick. Alright, we're going to put Cole in the middle. We're going to go attack him. We've got to get something out of this game. We have to put Cameron again on the left. That's not great midfield. The Gascoigne and Cameron in it. But who knows? 15 minutes left. Anything can happen. Oh, I like Chelsea could score another one. That's something that could definitely could happen. Come on, that's five minutes. Five minutes, four minutes. Are we going to create anything here? Come on. Oh, we're not getting anything. Come on, last chance, last chance, last minute goal. Nope, nothing again. It's another 1 0, but this time it's a defeat again. Uh, I guess we can't argue too much with that. We're at Stamford Bridge. I think we played better in the second half. Slightly better in the second half. Chelsea. They deserved it, really. Yeah, it's tough. Maybe going and attacking away to Chelsea wasn't the best plan. But hey, I'm ambitious. Or stupid. Or both. Player ratings? Yeah, no one really standing up there for us. Van der Gaal, obviously, uh, putting another great performance in goal. But um, yeah, nothing really to threaten Chelsea there. So that defeat leaves us in 14th place in the league table. One win, two defeats. Just above the relegation zone. Hmm. Could be a tough season ahead. So the board of directors are happy that we lost to Chelsea. I mean, I am too. I don't know why you're sending me that. Like, all of our fans are. I get it. Like, we don't want to lose to one of our rivals. But, all right. No well, need for the passive-aggressive emails. You know, you're not some housemate that who's washing up hasn't been done. Well, I think that's going to be it for the first episode. Um, you know, I think this is going to be a really enjoyable series. I mean, until I inevitably get sacked. Um, but if you have any suggestions for tactics or players, even though we haven't got a lot of money, then please, please do let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you're enjoying the show, don't forget to uh, like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time for some more Champ Manager.